a gynecological case referred for a mass felt extending from the pelvic cavity up to the right hypochondrium and uh, what I am showing you in this uh, particular image is that this is the urinary bladder, this is the uterus in a longitudinal section and there is a large mass, this is a heterogeneous mass with uh, uh, a lot of uh, echogenicities, tiny calcifications, septals, flute pocket within. This is also an extension of this uh, solid mass and uh, a complex rather cystic and solid mass we should say regarding it. This is a part of it in this uh, view. This is the fluid. This is also fluid uh, surrounding this uh, mass. Uh, we see the fluid in the pelvic cavity as well as in the abdominal cavity. The uterus is being elevated uh, and uh, is seen against the uh, pelvic wall by this uh, complex cystic and solid mass which extends you see now, you see the appearance of the mass, which by itself is explanatory of uh, uh, the fact that this is not a benign mass, it's an aggressive mass, major, uh, aggressive mass, cystadenocarcinoma most probably, I will say, and uh, it's highly vascular. You can see the vascularity of the mass, and uh, now this mass, uh, having said this, this mass has extensions, sorry, and expands on both sides. Now I am on the left side of the pelvic cavity and uh, maintaining its uh, complex appearance. Uh, now I am on the right side, so it's seen all over the uh, lower abdomen up to the umbilicus. umbilicus in the midline, extends on both sides of the midline. You see the calcification as well. Septals. So this is a it, it comes in the definition of a complex mass. Now I am going to move the probe towards the right hypochondrium from the region of the right adnexa. Now this is the right adnexa and this is a fluid filled pocket. If this one, this is a pocket of fluid full of echoes and you can see small amount of fluid posterior to it. It is extension of the same. It is not separate from the complex mass. It correlates with the same extends upwards. Now I am in the region of the right hypochondrium and uh, you can very well see it is surrounded by fluid with echoes. This is the mass. All of this is the part of this. This is the complex mass. It's part of it. This one and here it is surrounded by fluid with echoes. Malignant aside is that we will say and uh, See, the fluid is not clear, it's full of uh, echoes. Now, I am going to here. You see, this is the liver, liver is normal, outer surface is normal, and parenchyma is normal, but it's surrounded by fluid and the fluid is also seen in the hepatorenal angle, in the Morrison's pouch. Kidney is normal, no mass effect is seen on the right ureter, otherwise you would have seen uh, hydronephrosis. Uh, so these are okay. And there is fluid. Now this is the fluid in the paracolic gutter in the uh, right, in the left paracolic gutter with floating bowel segments within it and as I come down again now the mass starts again. So this is a case study of uh, 
pelvic mass extending on both sides uh, up to the umbilicus in the midline and then extending uh, has expansion and extending into the right hypochondrium with malignant ascites. Thank you very much.